Hello and welcome back to another lecture. AWS has updated the launch experience for an EC2 instance. And in this lecture, I'll show you how to launch your EC2 instance using the new launch experience. To launch your EC2 instance, in the management console, type EC2 in the search box. Then select EC2 under services. On the EC2 dashboard, select launch instance. Then select launch instance again. This is the new launch experience for the EC2 instance. If you prefer to use the old experience, you can click on this button here. And it will take you back to the old experience. If you prefer to use the new experience, click on this button again. And it will bring you back to the new experience. To launch your EC2 instance in the new experience, first we will give it a name. I'll call it my EC2. Once you've given your EC2 instance a name, scroll down. Under Application and OS Images, this is where you will select your AMI. And here you have some tabs that AWS has created for you. Under Recent, this is where you will see the recent AMI you've used. Under My AMIs, any AMI you have in your account will show here. And under Quick Start tab, this is where you will see some popular AMI. If you want to search for more AMI, you can click this button here. For our tutorial, we are going to be using Amazon Linux 2. So under the quick start, select Amazon Linux. And in this drop down here, make sure you have selected Amazon Linux 2. Then scroll down. For the description, we will leave it as default. Then scroll down. Under instance type, we will use T2 Micro. Then scroll down. Under key pair, select this drop down and select the key pair you have in your AWS account. Scroll down. Under Network Settings, select Edit. The first thing we will do in here is select our VPC. If you select this drop down, you will see all the VPC in your account. Currently, I only have one VPC in my account. That is why that is the only VPC showing here. I'll select it. For the subnet, select this drop down and select any subnet you want to launch your EC2 instance in. I'll select US East 1A. Under Auto Assign Public IP, we will leave it as default, which is enabled. Under Firewall Security Groups, this is where you will enter your security group. You can either create a new security group here, and when you are creating a new security group, you will enter the name of the security group here. Then you will enter the description here. And down here, this is where you will add your security group rule. AWS has entered the default of SSH. If you want to add more rule, you can select add security group rule here and you can add as many rule as you want. But if you want to choose an existing security group you already have in your VPC, you will click select an existing security group here. Once you select an existing security group, if you click this drop down, you will see all the security groups you have in your VPC and you can select the ones you want to add. Once you have added your security group, scroll down. Under Configure Storage, we will leave it as default. If you have some advanced details you want to add, you will click this drop down. Then scroll down. Under Advanced Details, here you will see all these extra settings you can add to your EC2 instance. For example, if you want to add an IAM role to your EC2 instance, this is where you will add the IAM role. Scroll all the way down. The user data is located here. And this is where you can enter your bash script to run your command. We won't enter anything under advanced details. I just want to show you where you can find these settings. Scroll back up and I'm going to minimize this drop down. Once you have select all the settings for your EC2 instance, you will see the summary here. We are launching one EC2 instance. If you want to launch more, you can change this number. We are using an Amazon Linux 2 AMI to launch our EC2 instance. The instance type is T2 Micro, and this is the security group I have added to my EC2 instance. This is the information for the storage volume we are using. Once you have reviewed your EC2 instance summary, click Launch Instance. There you go, we have successfully launched the EC2 instance. To view the EC2 instance, click View All Instances here. And you will see the EC2 instance in your management console. If you select the EC2 instance, You'll see all the details for the EC2 instance down here. If you click the refresh button, the status check is initializing 
and you can wait for the EC2 instance to pass the status check. If you want to terminate your EC2 instance, select it. Select instance date and select terminate instance. Then click terminate. This is how you launch an EC2 instance using the new launch experience. If you have any questions or there's any part of this lecture you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.